one druid's gonna have to sit here and farm with his bear right now. They're really messing up his lane. I mean, he still has eight last hits in three minutes, and he's gonna lose a bear again. It's another 300 gold towards the team, and they're just gonna die past the tier one. That's first blood, as it looks like. It. Tionix can't really do much. His bear is level two. He could try spotting it in, but he's worried that if he dies, uh, he's gonna have a tough time. They do have stun that they could have used on. The centaur, but it's on cooldown, so it's first blood. A bing is gonna kill off Sionix. Roger here in the jungle. It's gonna be a double kill for a bing, and that's one of those your things, right? I mean, you're going tatters. ahead, and and you're gonna be getting a. a... Our Mel here gonna get pressured. He doesn't have a level six to escape the situation. The sun comes out, and it looks like Teehee's gonna be able to get the kill. And it's a pretty tough lane for for CG's uh, mid. He can't get that free farm. We do see level 6 and 3 Ember Spirits remnants. So they're Radiant's pinging out Raji. I don't attack. think Ember can kill Raji even with the CM. There's just not enough damage. You know, Chenda is a pretty squishy hero. 820 health, only 3 armor. But he does have root and stuns from his uh, creeps. So if he can manage to, to do well denied. there. You're going to have a... You're just going to be wasting your time. Chuck is going to Blade Fury out as... Teammates come in on Dire's side to kill Crimson. Crimson's gonna fall what down, and it's one, two, three at the moment. Zero inside. Is tier one. Armel has a haste rune, but as I said, Tihi is. You just use Blade Fury and TPR if if the situation occurs to be uh, negative. Form. Radiance bottom tower. Axe farming jungle a little risky with three radiant by his side. But it looks like Axe is actually going to come from behind. We see TP's come out from Armel. He has haste. They're going to go in. The Geek Fam Raji is going to get hit, but he's going to pop off Hand of God to survive the three, uh, three remnants from Armel. Chen is going to fall down, but we're going to see the other two ra Radiant uh, heroes escape. And here's the thing, right? You really don't want to, to die. Uh, as a Chen early, but if you can go ahead and, and get the kill like that on an axe too, then to say one death is okay because you're creating the space for your for your lone farm on Weaver to, to do some extra damage. And he's getting that maelstrom, and maybe that's what they need. Maybe that's what a big needs to to be aggressive here. Raju is going to go on to Ember Spirit though. He's going to get Ruby's going to be able to escape with his fire remnants. Blade Fury comes out. Chen is going to fall down before he can pop Hand of God. So it is over. We're going to see Velo pop out his ultimate. Maybe he could uh, help Joke survive. It doesn't look like that's going to be enough. It's going to be a 3-2-0 uh, exchange. As Geek Fam just to be a little too aggressive on that team fight. They still get the tower, so maybe it's not the worst of all trades. But you're really not helping. If we take a look at net worth, you know, you were up... Uh, you're up about 2,000, which is almost 2,000. Now it's going to start dropping, and I promise you that CG is not going to be taking the lead in net worth after that fight. You're going to see the smoke. They're actually going to find Raji right away, and he's also going to die. Very good aggression coming from CG, realizing their stance. All of Chen's creeps are going to die, and they're going to start putting pressure in the tier 2, possibly. They are going to spot out Lone Druid. He's going to drop really fast. Axe going to be able to get the call. There is a uh, cleave, and that's going to be enough for him to drop his ultimate. And on Nap is going to see if he can escape. He has four seconds before his blink is up. Ignite is spotted out as a put down the sentry. Probably just seeing if they could find Weaver. I don't think Geek Fam need to take this fight. They do have Chen ultimate, and they do have Velo's ult plus mech if they do want to fight. But don't know if it's necessary to be so aggressive when you don't have level 10 on Lone Druid yet. You kind of. Putting yourself in a worse position because now Sionix is going to be called. Weaver's going to get his ultimate off. Sion throws out Freezing Field. Velo's not going to pop out his ultimate yet. He still has Mechanism. We still have Hand of God, I think. Uh, no, we didn't use Hand of God. It's going to be a 3 to 1 exchange, but we see a triple kill from Axe. Teehee's going to be able to get the double kill, but he's also going to fall down here. He's not going to be able to escape. Oh, snap. Nope, Tusk is still going to get the 3 man Snowball, and uh, they're going to go ahead and, and kill Jug. It's a maelstrom, and uh, Geek Fam are really throwing this game their way in this raid. first game. They are going to ping out oh, that way if it was there, but really they can't do anything. They're actually going to go in on Raji. I mean, Fly Solo here has Snowball if he wants Raji. There's just too, too much damage. A beautiful Tusk Ice Shards is going to keep him away from uh, escaping into the uh,
We are going to see Tiki being able to pick off the tusk with his teammates and I didn't get to catch that. Okay. But the fusel is, is also nice, I'm not gonna lie. But we'll give good things. We're gonna see Dyer trying to get some aggression going. They're gonna go on to Ogre Magi, who's just a little too tanky. Omni Flash comes out, CM's gonna fall down to that. Axe is stuck in root. This is just a beautiful pit of malice coming out from Underlord. A Bing is gonna get pressured by Tihi. He's gonna escape though with his invis. Meanwhile, we see Hana and Am falling down to Lone Druid. The range is just immense. We're gonna see maybe if Ember Spirit could be able to get something. He is gonna get slowed and purged. The stun comes out. He's immediately pop off Fire Remnant. He has two more. We're gonna see Jug blink in though, and it doesn't look like Ember's gonna be able to stay alive. He just didn't have the mana to use another Fire Remnant. That could be a possible throw. Are we looking at a 2,500 net? Gold you don't have pipe still, I'm pretty sure it's on cooldown for 26. You don't have guardians for four. Maybe you can get it with a pit of malice, like maybe freezing field is what they were scared of, but you don't have hand of god. Bear is gonna fall down, they're gonna pop the shrine, but axe is still gonna fall down. We see Blade Fury and Omni Knight or Omni Slash come out from Tihi. Another Greaves pops out, and we do have pipe in five seconds. Again, very strong aggression from Geek Fam. Not sure if it was necessary. We get another pit of malice coming out from Radiant side. Bing is going to be able to use his ultimate, but he is double rooted uh, as he is in the Pit of Malice. Underlord is not going to be able to make it out. Uh, he is not going to make it out. And Sionix is going to die. At least he's going to lose Aegis trying to defend that. We do have Blade Fury on Tihi. Armel is running really slow. Don't really know what we can do here on Geek Fam's side. Looks pretty hopeless, uh, this fight at least. I mean, looking at the tower, they didn't get much health out, and, and they threw net worth back towards CG, right? It's maybe slightly, but it is what it is. CM so needs freezing field to secure the kill there, and Ogre's just gonna try to stall his death a little longer. Looking at the total uh, XP. You're gonna see a team fight come out here. Axe is gonna get the kill on Sionix. He's gonna be down for 50 seconds. He doesn't have level 20 yet, so he's not going to. What is going on? He is not. It helps you hit really fast, but when you're dealing with 22 armor, it's really nice just to have that dazzle to get the extra damage. Underlord's gonna get rooted and called. He's gonna be able to pop off Pipe just in time to maybe save him. We're gonna see him use his ultimate, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. We do see Hand of God come out and try to save him, but. It's looking pretty grim for Radiant side as this fight comes out to unfold. Jug is going to get called, taunted, and Axe is going to finish off with a Berserker's Dunk. It's a triple kill for Ham and Amp. They have, uh, they have buyback on Jug. It doesn't look like... They're going to go for the bottom racks. Jug is going to buy back. They're going to be able to get the tower and the melee racks. Uh, they did pause there, so I think they missed the... Uh, Action and his axe fall down to Velo, but it is definitely worth it. You have the axe too after this. Fly Solo is going to get spotted out. They're going to tame him. He's going to get trapped in Ancients. He's going to blink. They're going to go straight on to Ogre. Looks like he's trying to get an aggressive D ward maybe going. He's going to fall down here though yeah, to dunk. Fly Solo is going to use Snowball to stay alive. We're going to see Raji pop off Hand of God, but it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. Another dunk comes. It's a double kill. They're going to start going on below. He does have ultimate if he wants to use it. Uh, we're going to see Juggernaut go ahead and use Omni Slash. They're not going to get the kill on Armel. We're going to see Hannah Anna come out. <sighs> Weaver is going to be able to kill Sionix in the meantime. And now he's putting pressure on Tihi. Tihi is going to be able to use Blade Fury to get to the shrine, but he's not going to be able to handle the overwhelming damage. It's a 4-0 to zero trade, and I mean, Ro Aegis is not even out yet. Armel's going to TP back. He has a remnant to come back and help push. We don't have buyback on Junk for 70 seconds. We do have buyback on uh, Lone Druid. He is up in 40. He is going to have to pop it. You don't want to lose another Radiant's tower in a melee tower. rex uh, at this game, at this, uh, at this point of the stage. We're looking at a 20k net worth lead. They're going on Velo. Velo's going to fall down. They do not have vision, though. He's going to pop off. Weaver still has ultimate. He's going to use that, and he's just going to start hitting tower. Oh, he's going to rotate back on the Velo. Velo's going to fall down. He doesn't have buyback. It's another kill in the way of Dyer. We're going to see them start hitting the tier 3. Boombax Boom is going to use an ult uh, to taunt. And it's GG called from 
from Geek Fam. It's one to zero. CG snatched this victory. It was starting to look in the way of Geek Fam, but I think they had a lot of fights where they just threw. You know, they really threw the fights. So yeah.